Shalom, this is Levi Shore. Welcome back to Swing Torah. So I've been thinking about the cicadas for a bit now. I got a short piece of Torah on them. So I live here in Baltimore, and it's cicada season. And what is Hashem's message from these miraculous creatures? They, um, they live underground, and there's different broods, as I understand. And some broods, they come up every 13 years, and some broods come up every 17 years. Now, 17... It's a very important number in the Torah. 17 is the gematria of Tov, which means good. So why do these uh, strange looking creatures, these big bugs, why are they good? What, what's, the, what's the secret of the cicada and good? So it's an interesting thing. Their whole life is attached to a tree. They, um, when they're born, I think they go into the ground and they're attached to the tree and they gain all their food and sustenance from the tree. And then after 13 years or 17 years, they come up and they fly around. They get married, they have baby cicadas, and they go back underground. So what's the significance of this, and, and what's the secret of the good of the cicada? So I think they're a lesson to us. Just like everything else mentioned in Parakshira, about all the things that Hashem's created, like the skies, the oceans, the clouds, the different animals, they're all lessons for us to learn from. We can learn things about ourselves and about the world. So I think the cicadas teach us a very important lesson. So first thing, they, they may not look so great, they sound like an alien invasion, but they're really gentle creatures. They don't bite, they don't sting, and they're attached to the tree, and they come up and eat from the tree, and then they're, when their baby's underground, they sustain the tree. And I think the lesson is this. I think the tree in this mushal is the Eitz Chaim, which is the Torah, and it's a lesson to the Jewish people. We attach ourselves to the Eitz Chaim. We attach ourselves to the Torah, and we're hidden. Where are we hidden? We're hidden in the Bate Kanesios. We're hidden in our shuls and synagogues, learning Torah, davening to Hashem, doing tefillah. We're hidden in the, in the Bate Midrashos, in, in the yeshivas, you know, going, learning Torah. We're hidden in there. We're learning. No one sees us. We're learning Torah, learning how to do the mitzvahs, doing the mitzvahs. And we're hidden in our homes, raising Jewish families, celebrating our homes, lighting the Hanukkah menorah, having a Seder on, on Pesach, on Passover. And a lot of times the world doesn't see us, but when it's our bar mitzvah, when it's 13 years, we come out and we proudly say, I am a son of the mitzvahs, I am a son of the Torah, I'm a son of Hashem, and I'm ready to, to show the world that uh, you know, I'm ready to take on the mitzvahs. So what's the lesson of 17 of Tov? What's interesting, it's related to Yosef, Yosef at Sadek, Joseph. So Joseph was 17 years old when he was sold into slavery uh, by his brothers and he went down to Mitzrayim, he went down to Egypt where he was enslaved. But he rose out of this slavery, and it was kind of like a Misa Avo Simon Lambani. It was the actions of our fathers that were assigned to the children that one day when we were in this exile in Mitzrayim and Egypt, that we would also rise up and we would come out. And then it's the last 17 years of Yosef's life when he was made, he was given the powers of a king by Paro, by the Pharaoh. And, and the Pharaoh said that all but the throne separates us, but you really have the powers of a king. And then Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov, his father, Jacob, came to live with Yosef, and they were reunited, and they lived those last 17 years together, learning Torah, doing the mitzvot. So I think that's one of the secrets of Cicada, that just as they attach themselves to the tree, we should attach ourselves to the Eitz Chaim, to the tree of life, the Torah. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back again soon on Sweet Good Torah.